What is up, my guys? How are you doing? Welcome to my channel. It's your boy, and I'm back again. So we're looking at the Supreme and Dr. Martin's attitude with us this week on Thursday. So without any further ado, guys, let me show you what I'm looking at. Make sure you guys subscribe as well. Let's get to it, man. So bear with you guys can see that you've got those three different colorways. So we'll start with the left there. You've got the black ones. Then you've got the red ones. Then you've got the white ones as well. So the only difference with these is they've got the spider web on the front on the toe box of the shoe which um yeah i think it's just rather disappointing i was expecting more from supreme to be fair i don't know why they've done that um sorry about that just getting a comment from someone someone from youtube so yeah i'm not really entirely sure i've seen some uh acw doc martins or dr martins and those have got more creativity behind them i will show you that People think sometimes I criticize Supreme and I'm very harsh, but I do think if other brands can put more emphasis on their collaboration or have more work on the shoe, then why is Supreme sometimes just lazy? It's just laxter. And as you can see, they've only just put the spider web at the front and you've got the Supreme box logo on the inside. And that is all really, that just differentiates this shoe from any other shoe. I mean, look at it, it's just basic. Basic, basic, basic. Yeah, it's just basic. Even that guy is like, what am I wearing? So the only good thing is like the spider web has actually been stitched on there. So it will not just fade away. I thought it was painted on. But apart from that, it's just like, even the way that person's wearing that, it just looks trash. Right. So because I'm criticizing this, I will back it up by showing you guys um, the ACW. Let's go to, um, let's come off there. Oh, where's that? Bear with me one second there, guys, as I look for that. I'm trying to, there we are. It's loading up. So I'm just trying to show you guys, like, you know, when I criticize sometimes Supreme, this is why. Right, so you got the ACW Dr. Martins there. Now, bam, look at that. Look at what ACD, ACW have done. They've changed the front. They've put some extra, like, um, should I say, side pieces to hide the laces there, as you guys can see there. I was considering buying these as well. I know that 240 pounds are more expensive, but when you look at like the little touches, they've got the little nails on the back. They've messed around with the midsole as well. They've added some extra pieces as well. You can tell. I've not seen like any dunk, sorry, any Dr. Martins like these. You've got the ACW there with the reflective material with the lines in the middle. Then you've got the ACW yellow triangle on the side as well. Even the midsole's been kind of like, you know, um, customized, if you will. Oh, yes. So basically from the top down there, you can see they put some extra pieces to cover the laces just on each side of the shoe. So you've also got like the, um, the um, how can I describe it? So as you guys can see on the picture that you've also got like um, the side piece, which goes from the front and it's attached to the shoe itself and runs all the way from the front of the shoe to the back. So just little touches like this, you know, in different places all come together to make a very beautiful shoe. So when I'm criticizing Supreme and saying they could have done better with that Dr. Martens, I would rather buy this Dr. Martin. I look different. Actually, I'm going to buy this for winter. You know, so when I'm criticizing this brand, don't think I'm being harsh because what is that? Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I wouldn't go for this if I was you. They will sell out, I guess, but I think they'll probably struggle to sell out. I could be wrong, but it's just like, yeah, nah, not the one. If you've got any comments or if you disagree, comment down below. We'll have a little dialogue, man. Nothing... Nasty, just like a little back and forth. But yeah, that's just my take on this. I think it's just like Lack Star. Supreme again, being Supreme. So guys, thanks for watching. And also, the reason why I'm criticizing Supreme is because even with the recent, like, um, the Nike 95 Air Zoom, they were basic. They are the same as the other ones. They had the bandana print. That was the only difference. You know? And even with the dunks as well, they never really, like, just go above and beyond. 
So the very lazy company when it comes to shoes, you know. Even with the box logo as well, like it's lazy, you know, it's just like the same thing. Same formula just change a little bit. So I don't know. I'm just hoping the new uh, creative director from you know for Supreme will bring a lot of which I suspect it will, he will bring a lot of different new pieces. I think he'll take the brand in the right direction where it deserves to go because he's done quite a lot of good work with uh, Levi Jeans. So it'll be nice to see that formula replicate with Supreme and I'm excited for the future to be fair. I'm excited especially for um for autumn winter this year. I think Supreme will surprise us quite a lot. So I'm looking forward to that. But so far with this drop for this week, you know it's it's alright. I mean I know we had Stone Island last week, which is fantastic. I love that drop. Um you know, uh but then you know with this one they could have just I don't know, just tried a little bit more. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. Let me stop morning. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.